guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. How's it going? I love you so freaking much. I just got to say that right now. You, the love and support you guys are showing me is just, oh my God, I've been on cloud nine, even though I'm super sick, I'm like super stoked at the same time. Thank you guys for the patrons and for, again, the memberships and stuff like that. And just your love and support, it just, it means the world to me. You have no idea. Um, how it makes me feel, how appreciated it makes me feel. I had no idea I'd be able to, you know, not necessarily make money, but even just to be able to do tarot readings. I, I never thought I would be at this place at all in my life. And then to actually be able to make money on top of it is like, wow. Oh, okay. So a couple of cards jumped out. Let me just pause it there and I'll grab them. Okay. So there was too many of them. So I just put them back into the deck. Okay, so this is going to be a um, Divine Feminine reading in for March the 20th until April the 1st. So I'm extending it just a little bit more because I'll be, um, like yesterday's reading that I did was from March the 20th until the 28th, but I'm extending it um, just to have a new start on April 1st because I'll be doing the extended readings through the patron Okay, so let's pull the cards first, and then I'll go through the position. So we're doing a split divine partnership. So I don't usually read reversals. I think this that was one of the cards that fell out on the ground. So I'll pull them first, and then I'll go through the positions. Oh, that's beautiful. And the bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles. Okay. And let me just give these cards a quick shuffle. And thank you for all of your well wishes, guys. I love you. Okay. So let's begin. <laughs> oh, actually, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Let me just shuffle it one more time. All right, so beginning with how you... You know what? Let's actually start with the overall energy. So the Page of Pentacles is going to be your overall energy for the next week. So this is, um, you know, putting work and effort and manifesting a long-term goal. But what I see here is just, you know, focusing your attention on something you know you got your nose buried in the books so either you're trying to discover some answers uh, this is a student so this could be you going back to school um, you know you you want something to manifest and you have made the decision to commit yourself to that long-term goal and here we see you really focusing hard on that and and the twin flame reading, there was that energy of you focusing a lot on the 3D reality. In the near future, you had the Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. So it's a very slow movement. And here we have a double barred red line, which is uh, double earth. So this is non-movement. This is all about planning. Um, you know, really focusing your attention on pursuing you know, making plans to pursue something, to have something manifested. All right, so moving into the twin flame, or into the yin, sorry. Um, how do you view the masculine or the relationship? So this is the hermit card. Um, so you view this connection as um, detached, but on a, a spiritual, in a spiritual way, you are detaching yourself from um, 
control from expectations. You are on a spiritual journey to discover your light within. And so, you know, there's a sense that you may have detached in order to, to pursue that spiritual journey. Um, you could also be a guide to the masculine as well. Uh, so let's pull one clarifier. The Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. This was the overall energy for the masculine. So the Ten of Pentacles is a long-term goal. So you, even though there's a, a feeling of being alone in solitude, um, you feel this grounded energy, this sense of safety and security long-term. You know this connection will manifest long-term. And you're, you're not attached to that idea, but you just know it. So, you know, that allows you to detach. Now, this could also be you in how you view the masculine as being detached on, you know, as the hermit um, seeking solitude. And I'm not feeling any worry or... I'm not feeling like um, there's no fear here at all. There's just a sense of knowing. And so overall, you're really sitting down and you're thinking long term with the masculine. Um, in a sense of solitude, you are, you know, you enjoy being alone for the next week. You feel safe and secure within yourself in order to do that. So I'm going to skip to the message from your higher self, which is the base chakra. Now it was in reverse. I don't usually read reversals. Now there's two crown or there's two chakras that are activated in your reading. The heart chakra is coming in the future, which is beautiful. Um, but your higher self is telling you to open the chakra to to release the blockage. Now this is number one. This is the low chakra. So this is a, a feeling of safety, security, feeling like you have your, your needs met. So your higher self is asking you to look at these aspects in your life. Do you feel safe? Do you feel secure? Do you feel unchained? Um, and if not, then it's time to focus on those aspects in your life. Like where, where do you feel that you're lacking? Um, where are you putting your time and effort that, you know, seems to be draining? So, let's pull a clarifier. Wow, the King of Cups. The Queen of Cups showed up twice in, in the Twin Flame reading on the masculine side. So, the King of Cups is in the, your resisting position, so we'll go to that next. Um, but the King of Cups is somebody who's very deeply loving. And so it's air and water combined. And, so this represents a balance between emotions and your thoughts. Now it could also represent an air sign, but what I feel here is there's, you feel a blockage. Um, there's something about this energy that is making you feel like you're lacking. Now this could also be you want to express yourself or have that balance. You want to be able to feel love very deeply like the King of Cups. Um, and because you can't, you feel, you don't feel safe. You know, this card usually means you just don't feel safe in the world. Okay, so the King of Cups is in your resisting position. So this is, um, like I said, a water sign, or this represents a masculine um, who is a very deeply loving man, who is able to express his emotions, who is balanced. Right, or it could be you, either or. So let's pull a clarifier. The Seven of Cups. So this is confusion. Um, this is what you want. You want the King of Cups. You want this deep love, but you don't know how to get there. So there's either a lot of options available to you, or you're just you're confused. You're wondering if this connection is a, an illusion. Um, so I, your higher self is really asking you to dig deep for the next week and look for those answers. So what is in your past position is the magician, the master manifester, number one. 
Um, so this is realizing you have all the power and tools available to you to manifest your dreams, okay? So there was this um, ignition in the past, uh, a very powerful feeling of control and focus. Oops, sorry. Um, so you were the magician. You felt this power. You felt, um, you know, this energy building up within you. And so you wanted a new beginning. You want to manifest something is very, you know, that message is repeated over again, over again. You want to manifest something. You feel that there's a foundation started all over, uh, already and then you, and you want to grow it full, you know, long term and you feel it is a possibility, but there's an emotional blockage. I don't know if it's blockage. Okay, let's continue. Wow, the Ten of Cups again. So the Ten of Cups also showed up in the masculine um, as a clarif... Was it a clarif... Yeah, it was a clarifier for his fear position. And here we have the Ten of Cups showing up in the fear position. I think it was a fear position. Oh, I can't remember. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we got the 1, and then the 10 reduces to 1, so that's an 11. So you want to manifest this happily ever after. Now, the masculine actually got the 11-11 card in his past position. So there's an 11 synchronicity there. Um, so this is peace on earth, um, peace and harmony within the family, no one's fighting. So you... What's interesting also is you both got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in the reading. So these are very par powerful, uh, positive cards to have. So your heart chakra will be activated in the future. Um, there is this deeply loving connection with a man, um, you know, this king of love that is very prominent right now. And you want that manifested into your reality. You want to feel emotional bliss, the happily ever after. So the three of pentacles in the present position. Now you had this as um, an energy that was coming in from the past. It was also a shared foundation um, card for the twin flames. Uh, so the three of pentacles is a firm foundation. It's groundedness, it's feeling successful, feeling you know, that, that seed of intention has, um, you know, been planted, grounded, and now it's, it's not only taking root, but it's transforming the material world. You've got this solid base that you can build your life on, and that's so important, right? So you do feel grounded. You feel this sense of security. Um, you want to manifest it into your reality, but you're just, there's just confusion, right? It's like you're conflicted on one side you feel safe in the connection but at the same time this not knowing is kind of pulling you down I don't know okay let's continue on wow three of pentacles twice solid freaking foundation right bar okay so the future position is the heart chakra so this is the motor that drives consciousness and the twin flame connection you know it's true love feeling true love um, that opens up the heart and awakens you to you know the synchronicities and, and you realize this connection isn't like anything you've ever experienced it, experienced before so you know you felt that connection in the past and you fear that you're not going to have it in the future but you know it, it's this um, it's a you know when you attach yourself to that long-term goal then that's when you're disappointed and things never work out the way you expect them to so just focus on the heart be love be the king of cups give love unconditionally like I know that you guys do in seven of swords so this was the overall energy card for the twin flame reading so this actually showed up in the message from the universe for the masculine reading um, so it came with the eight of swords as well so that mental prison so in the future you guys are m working through this blockage and it's because of heart because of love um, clearing the air is what I'm feeling very strongly so message from the universe is the three of cups so this is friends coming together celebrating life 
you know, it's also a Vibe Tribe card along with the High Priest, but you don't have it in the reading, but the High Priest did show up in the present position for the masculine in his reading. And so there's a sense of community, of bonding, of um, sharing, of feeling at home, you know, and this is also the ignition switch as well that activates the heart chakra. So, you know, it's two people coming together to create their energy, energy, which is love, and then celebrating that love and just being on top of the world, being happy to be alive. The King of Pentacles. So this showed up in the crowning position, I think. No, yeah, it did. It showed up in the crowning position. Um, I can't remember what the main card was, but the masculine was bringing this card in. And so this is, you know, somebody who would... Um, would have created the Ten of Pentacles, right? So this is the King of Pentacles. Um, oh, sorry, my cat wants in. Oh my gosh, okay, I'll have to let him in just a minute. Otherwise, he'll keep scratching. <laughs> okay, hopefully I didn't bump it around too much. Okay, so yeah, the King of Pentacles um, is the Ten of Pentacles dude retired, long term. So... I think what the universe is saying is to celebrate life, to maybe reach out to the masculine in the 3D, come back to him. There's this disconnect there, right? You're, you're seeking solitude, or he is one of the two. Um, you're beginning to wonder, you know, if this is an illusion, is this real? Um, but the universe is saying not to worry about all that stuff, just celebrate the connection with the masculine. Um, be happy he's alive on earth. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, um, celebrate the fact that he is alive and, and breathing and, you know, happy and that there is a connection there. Just the basic stuff in life. Do you know what I mean? Um, and this could also mean that, you know, he create that sense of home for him. Like, Home seems to be a repeating theme in this week's reading. The masculine had the Queen of Pentacles in the message from the higher self, and it was coming with the Queen of Swords. So, you know, this could mean connecting in the 3D reality, actually coming together and, and you know, unexpectedly, maybe at a wedding or a party or something. Okay, so the external environment is the Page of Cups. Uh, so the, the overall energy is a Page of Pentacles. So that's a beginning of something, right? So beginning of a project or a new job or a career or going back to school, something long-term that's going to bring you um, success. Whereas the Page of Water is a beginning of a relationship. It's sending loving messages. And this could also be communicating in the 3D, whereas the uh, Page of Cups is communicating love. right? And so this is the muse. So there's somebody in your environment who inspires you, who um, draws this creative energy out of you. Um, but, you know, maybe there's this new connection that is available. The masculine got an Ace of Pentacles, um, I can't remember what it came with uh, in his external environment. So there's this new beginning there, an opportunity of, of love. The Two of Pentacles. So interesting. We got that double-rooted foundation in the present moment for the feminine. In the external environment, there's a Two of Pentacles. So there's this is a shifting foundation, not feeling safe as that seed takes root and transforms the 3D reality. So um, I mentioned that the Ace of Pentacles was in the masculine's external and you're picking up on the Two of Pentacles from his external or it could just be your external environment. But there's this love opportunity that is there and it's beckoning and it's manifesting and your desire is to grow it to the ten. And so what you fear is the Ten of Cups. You're afraid that this might not happen, that you're never going to be happy, that um, things will never be the way.
the way you'd hoped, you know, your castle in the sky. So let me pull a clarifier. The Nine of Wands. So you want to give up. Um, you know, this is being challenged countless times. Um, and you still get up and fight. But now you're at the end of your rope. Your, your body's starting to give up, that kind of thing. So you're afraid of giving it that final push. You're afraid that you've given too much of yourself to this vision. Um, I don't know. I just, hmm, it's kind of conflicting ideas here. We got this desire to manifest it in the past, but maybe you're just feeling like you're giving too much of yourself and um, there are thoughts in playing in your mind. So you want to focus on the 3D reality for a little while. Maybe the masculine is sending messages to you and you're just kind of avoiding it. Um, not out of spite, but just to take some time for yourself in order to find your emotional balance once again. And then once you feel whole and complete, then you can address those things that are question, you know, making you question your safety and security and the connection. Yeah, I see a lot of positivity there. You, you feel very confident that something is going to manifest long term. And you're doing it from a place of love. And, of course, that's going to bring nothing but good things to you. All right, so let's pull one card from Call It Baron Reed. So this will be the final message from the universe. Clean, clean it up. Okay, so I was kind of getting that energy. Like, there's something that you need to take care of. Right, that you need to release. Um, it's not overbearing. It's not, you know, it's like, yeah, I'll take care of that when I need to take care of it. Um, right now I need to do this, right? But I think the universe is, is encouraging you not to um, take something for granted. Okay, so getting to the core of the situation, freedom from burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. So freedom from burden is what I was kind of feeling there as well. And in the whole reading, it's like, um, I know it's there and it's growing and, you know, I need to focus my attention somewhere else for the time being and then I will come back to it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not going to focus my energy on this um castle in the sky right now. I'm going to focus my attention on real things and also detaching in order to to get connected with your emotions, become emotionally balanced. Okay, so the relationship message. Time to clear the air. Uh take a look at your side of the street and say what's on your mind. Sweep away the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through with new energy. Wow, okay, and then uh, today I felt a very strong sense, of, you know, that spring is in the air. We're on the west coast, so it's like spring all the time. It's really weird. Um, we don't get any snow, so it's always green. But, you know, in the springtime here, the lilac um, bushes they they start to bloom and so we I feel like I'm in a Dr. Seuss movie sometimes because all the trees are orange or no, sorry pink and it just smells so nice so you know the, I feel that shift and change in energy um, we're moving into spring and now there's going to be growth and the masculine got regeneration which is growth it's you know second chances so there's a sense of you guys both doing some spring cleaning in a way getting ready for something it's a perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what's yours and what's not yours to clean up the relationship 
Everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. Okay, so yeah, there's, you know, these nagging thoughts or what have you, but you're not being completely controlled by it. I think you guys had the Ten of Swords as a final outcome, so there's going to be an end to any negative thinking. But so right now, turn your focus to yourself. Put your attention on yourself. Um... Love yourself is what I'm seeing here. Don't look out, look in. And just, you know, brush away the cobwebs. All right, so I do hope this helped you guys. I love you so much. Okay, cheers.